I had the Rona, now I'm back, and I'm trying to go all wireless for my gaming setup. So I have the Razer Mambo Wireless. We're gonna unbox it and check it out in this video. All right, that's more like it. All right, so the mouse I'm currently using at the moment is this cheap Logitech mouse. It's like 15 bucks. I think it's the M510. I'm just trying to go all wireless here. I don't want to deal with any more cable, so I'm using a wireless mouse. And that's why I'm switching to the wireless Mamba. Now, I have had experience with the Mambas in the past, and uh, it's one of my favorite mice. They're very comfortable, very responsive, very good for gaming and overall use. They fit my hand very well, and their lighting is just gorgeous. Now, I'm not sure if this one has any lighting, because it is wireless, it has to save battery, but that's not really a big deal. If it doesn't light up, I'd be completely fine with that. So it is, before I open it, let's look around the box here real quick. So it's supposed to have an extended battery life. It has a 16,000 DPI optical sensor, seven programmable buttons, very similar uh, from what I see to the Razer Mamba Elite from a few years ago. But... Once again, it is wireless. Now there is a little Razer Chroma lighting there, 5G. So it does support lighting, but I think it's just the scroll wheel and the Razer logo. Let's see what else we get here in terms of paperwork. We have Razer's for gamers by gamers there. And uh, some warranty, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna read it, but I could already see something sticking out here. The most exciting thing, some stickers. That's why I wanted to open the paperwork first. I wanted the stickers. I don't really care what's in here. And I'm sure none of you guys do either. So, stickers. That's a, a positive. I'm gonna set those aside. Now, it is wireless, but one of the things that made me get this one over something like uh, Logitech... I forget the name, but one of those mice. I was gonna get it, I was really close, but I saw that it, it needed like AAA batteries or something. This one doesn't. It has a rechargeable cable. You can recharge it. This is a must in my opinion. I don't want to have to deal with any batteries or anything like that. I'd rather just charge it once a week or something and be done with it. That way you don't have to worry about it dying on you. You can just plug it in. I believe this is a micro USB cable. It's not USB type C like a lot of the newer devices, but it's no big deal. At least they give you the cable and it is braided. So good quality. Now I could never open these boxes without tearing them. Nice, I got it. Okay, so we have this interesting thing that we get up here. All right, so we get the mouse in this plastic and we also get something odd looking. What is this for? Comment down below. So it has a, a regular USB end right there input and then a micro USB on this side. I hope you guys could see that well. Is it like some sort of dongle, some sort of extension? I, I'm gonna have to look into this. I don't know what it is. And then we have the mouse, which is incredibly lightweight, surprisingly. It has a battery in here and it's it's very lightweight. Let's remove the plastic here. Very nice. And as you can see in there, it's a little bit transparent. You can see the USB dongle. So I'm gonna get that open and remove it because it's not, that other part, it's not to connect it because you have the USB dongle right here. So I don't know what that's for. It's very nice that they have a little storage compartment there for the USB. All right, there we go. And you also have buttons for power. And you also get the button for power, and I'm assuming that's for uh, profiles. I think you could have different profiles with the Razer Chroma software. You could customize it all there. We have the 16,000 DPI optical sensor right there. Very nice. Great thumb grips from what I remember. Two side buttons. It, it does have seven programmable buttons. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Unfortunately, the scroll wheel does not scroll to the side. That's been one of my favorite features on some previous mice, but it's no big deal. I mean, you don't really use it much, but it's just something I've gotten used to. And right off the bat, I could already tell it's very comfortable. So like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite mice because of the comfort level. Now I have more of a palm grip grip style, and this mouse is perfect for that. Also the way it just glides, it just feels so smooth where the buttons are placed, the side buttons especially if you're switching weapons. One and two, clicking those buttons is like nothing. It's very clicky, it's very responsive, incredibly responsive actually the gliding is super smooth and the grips on the side are also incredibly grippy overall comfort is excellent now as i said earlier for the lighting uh, you do only get the scroll wheel and the razor logo that light up you don't get the strips on the side like you do with the wired models but that's because it's trying to save battery i would assume those light strips on the side would waste quite a bit but it still looks excellent and for somebody who's looking for a wireless mouse like me somebody who wants to have a, a completely wireless gaming setup this is one of the mice you should definitely check out at least consider it because it's it's awesome 
Comfort is excellent, performance is excellent once again, and it's a very well-known brand, so you know what you're getting into before you buy it. The Razer Mamba is one of the most popular mice out there. Alright, and that concludes this video. If you enjoyed this unboxing or would like to see more, I really enjoy making them, so please comment down below, and I'll, and I'll try to respond to all of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.